It's really great to be here surrounded by so many young freedom fighters in this country because when I'm in Washington, D.C., normally I'm younger, I'm closer in age to these people's children or grandchildren than I am actually to the members that I serve with. And I'm not ages, I don't have anything against older people being in office, but the problem is our country has rapidly changed. Our world has rapidly changed. And unfortunately, Congress has not kept up with the tide of change. We're woefully unprepared to defend ourselves in the areas of cybersecurity, the areas of really what's going on with the algorithm on social media. You see, I, I thought TikTok was this elaborate scheme from China to try and steal information from America. But really, when I started thinking about it and looking into their algorithms, I realized that while they try and incentivize young people in America to memorize TikTok dances or to shake their butt or to do whatever they're doing, in China, their algorithm encourages people to work on chemistry, to work on engineering, to create these leaders in their world that will be able to dominate Americans. It's a genius strategy, I have to say. It's a strategy that's working. I guess first thought is, man, what's with the with the giving the praise and the genius labels to anyone that they claim is better than Americans? It's constant. It's hey, we suck. You know how much we suck. I thought this was like a conservative talking point normally that hey, we're the best and everyone else sucks, which was always wildly inaccurate. Now it's we suck and everyone else is so much better than us. And yes. it's not because of me being a leader or me being a pundit on TV. It's because of those other guys, as if they have nothing to do with how much we suck. Anyways, yes. uh, apparently TikTok is being used for, um, what is it? Uh, the Chinese are using it for uh, engineering and science, Francesca. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I saw some dude who was like, here's how you flip a home. And it was like 30 seconds and it looked real easy. And that guy made money. So uh, I mean, whether or not that's ethical or like legal, it seemed like he was making money. So don't say that people aren't like learning real skills uh, from TikTok. Uh, I have like a recipe that I will do today. It's a TikTok recipe. I forget it every time and I got to go back. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Um, but. <laughs> I totally agree with you on this. Like, what is it about conservatism that in they simultaneously in the same breath say America first, and then America is the worst and we suck because we're shaking our butt on the TikTok. I am cool. Um, like, it, it it makes here here's what I would amend that to say. Like, when liberals and when leftists and when progressives say talk about like. You know, hey, there's high speed rails in China. Hey, there's like, you know, um, there's free like medical care in Scandinavia. Whatever we say, we're doing that in a spirit of celebration and of internationalism and of, hey, we're part of the world and we can learn from them. Conservatives do that in a, that's why we must destroy. Like, <laughs> like the competitive, it's always competitive. Like, sorry, there's no winning on earth, you know, um, much to America's uh, disappointment in the past. But like, we're clearly, we're not really winning this game. But Final thought on this clip, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear, nobody's listening to him. There is mad chatter in the background. He's like at a bar, they're all getting drinks. He is not the main event, trust me. I've done stand up in bars and like when you do not have the audience, that's the sound. Just like, <laughs> I don't know, who's this guy, I don't know. Anyway, what'd she say? Oh, weird, crazy, what, TikTok? I love TikTok, anyway, like it's. Yeah, she, he heard those a couple of cues here and there, but maybe he, that's when he realized he's like, well, they don't really care. I might as well just tell them that <laughs> it's engineers. By the way, I, I don't do TikTok much, but I, I do would assume that the 12 to 15 year olds who are doing all the dances and stuff, and I'm probably limited that number. I'm sure there's 12 to 15 year old kids in other countries doing the dances. It's just. I'm sure that's how it works. It's just an oversimplification of what another uh, another social media uh, site or app is doing. I don't I, I don't dive into it that much, but there's stuff on there that's outside of just dancing and yes. learning songs. I, I don't know, but you know you can oversimplify it to folks who know better, and then you won't get their votes. So I don't know why you're even there. It's so that he can please Donald Trump further. Who knows?